How are you? I'm good, how are you? We've got some sunshine. There's some sun shining. It's it very feels... nice. It's almost time to get the bikini out. Almost. <laughs> We're literally just going to get our faces tanned, that's it, because every other part of our body is completely covered up. I know, how sad is that? So as you probably noticed this morning, I've ridden over to Richmond Park to meet Harry. It is six degrees, but it's going to get an awful lot warmer. So looking forward to a beautiful day out in some spring sunshine. Harry, you're a bit overdressed for today, aren't you? Huh? A bit overdressed for today, isn't huh? it? I feel... We're fired. Two pairs of socks. Well, it's like nine degrees. Is that, is that acceptable? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. That's not acceptable. We're not. No. I think from in between my pairs of socks yesterday. Mate, double pairs of socks is like below five degrees like that. You think? Yeah. Secret. It's not very secret, is it? <laughs> the size flapjacks, the size of small children. Dude, you've got like eight, oh. it's 800 grams <laughs> of flapjacks up today. No normal person has 800 grams of flapjacks for a ride. It's so good. Do you want to try a bit? Yes. So many bike problems everywhere to go out on. <laughs> so Harry, tell us where you're going out today. Winchester. 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 Yeah. That's a long way away. I know. So you're out for a big day then? Yeah, big day. Gonna go sell someone some shifters. Obviously the reason you clicked on this video is to see my review or my insight into my heated insoles. So stay tuned because I'll be covering that in a bit. You want to see a potato? Potato! <laughs> Whoa! Potato is free! That is a shame head. Potato's got to get a tan mate. But take off your helmet. Take off your helmet mid-race. I can't wait to do that in like a <laughs> Cat 5 crit. Just like on the front, just take off my helmet. So originally today I didn't plan on riding, but uh, it, as it was so beautiful, I gave Harry a ring and he said he was doing a bit of an epic. 200k to Winchester. And I said I'd roll out with him. We are currently around the area of Ottershaw in the woods. And uh, very soon I'll be at the point where I don't actually know where I am anymore. Have you gone past Chobham or are we going past Chobham? Uh, I think it's just up here and then... And then, and then, then light water. Okay. Where the military defence base is or something like that. Yeah, yeah. One of their tra no, sorry, training grounds. And then yeah. it's into the unknown, right? Then into the unknown, into Narnia. And that's why I'll probably leave you, to be honest. No, you're going to come with me. <laughs> I'll start crying if you don't. <laughs> I, I will cry on cue. Okay. Don't leave me to do 200k on my own. Have you seen the meme with that dad that just goes and starts crying and goes... Aah! But you've gone the scenic route. But I just, yeah, there's no point because I had to cycle to Milton Keynes and back the other day, and it was I chose the most horrible route, and it was Not the fun. most miserable nine hours of my entire life. Sunset in Miami. I think I got a What I was trying to get out there is that you should have left earlier than like ten if you're riding all day because you're gonna get back in the dark again. <laughs> you got lights. I have, I had to ride back, I did a big one the other day, I had to ride the last hour and a half back in the dark. Not fun though, right? Uh, Cause I forgot my lights. I know you usually say this, but you, you make me flash. I don't usually say this, but you, you make me flash. It's so what, sad. I'm not, I'm not even quarter of the way through yet, and I've been, we've been riding for like, what? An hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The route is fine, but. Well, mate. Um, are you going to leave here? Yeah, I, I would love to ride with you all day, but we'll have to save it till summer, right? It's very sad. So you're going to have to leave me. I know. <laughs> are you going to cry on cue now? <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm good. So, yeah, I've left Harry to it now. I've 
wished him my best wishes because I think he's going to need it. And I'm heading back uh, in towards London, making up a new route as I go along. So far, so good. Wow. Never been here before. Also, for you eagle-eyed viewers, you might have noticed Harry has a new bicycle. I will do a feature on it when he sorts his shit out and uh, does a video himself. So this morning when I left, it was about three or four degrees. And it's just really nice to put those heated insoles in. And they don't have to be on all ride. They probably don't need to be on all ride, especially not on a day like this. But for the first hour, when it is a little bit bitey, they work perfectly. Anyway, back in the park now, almost home, back to the studio. Now for a bit more on these Vulcan heated insoles. So the story starts a couple of months ago when I saw a friend had uploaded to her social media that she was using these heated insoles during one of the cold bites that we had this winter. Obviously at this point I was really intrigued as to how the system worked, whether they were like those sachets that you can activate and that which only lasts for a couple of hours and obviously a, a one time only use. But having looked into these a little bit more on their website, I saw that they actually had a heating element inside. At this point I got really excited and I thought it might be the end to that horrible numb feet feeling that you get after a few hours of being out in the ice cold. So I reached out to the guys at Vulcan Smart Sportswear and the guy was really, really friendly and was keen to explain to me exactly how they worked and to sort me out with a pair so that I could show you guys. So when they arrived, they came in a smart packaging. Inside the box, obviously came the insoles themselves. Then with that, you had a power block with a uh, micro USB. And then in addition to that, there is a little remote control. So obviously the first thing I did when they came out of the box was to stick them on charge and to make sure that they were fully juiced up. Very, very easily done just by plugging the micro USB into the insoles themselves. I put them in this morning. I've done four hours, I've done pretty much four hours now. And my goodness, when I first put them on, I couldn't, I couldn't sense them at all. You put your hand on them, you can't feel the warmth. Put them on your feet. And the second you go outside, it's like you notice it and I can tell you the whole ride hasn't gone above zero degrees my feet have been toasty toasty warm all the way through so in terms of specifically the fitting of the insoles you'll see if you go on their website that you can purchase these insoles in a range of four different sizes and what makes them differ from most standard insoles is the fact that you then trim the insole down to the size which will fit your shoe so the next step is to then get them fitted into your shoes now i found this step a little bit difficult just because by nature these things are a little bit more rigid and perhaps fit a little bit differently than a normal insole that would come with the shoe that you've purchased. Because they do take up a little bit more space in the shoe themselves, I actually struggled a tiny bit to fit my feet into the shoe. Now this is a really important point to note, and that is if you're a rider that relies on really specific insoles, then please be aware that these might not be perfect for you. They do have some kind of arch support and a little bit of a heel cushion, but they are limited in their support, and you certainly won't be matching up to the kind of support you would have if you've been fitted to a custom insole. Comparing the heated insole on the bottom to a stock one that just comes with a pair of cities, you can certainly see that this one does have some kind of support and it will provide a lot more function than this. Now when it comes to heat, there are three separate heating settings. Uh, obviously with the highest one lasting for the shortest duration of time and the lowest one lasting for the longest, I went for the medium setting when I went for my rides and I found that worked really, really well for me and kept me warm for a duration of around four to five hours. So if you're wondering how they keep you warm, they use infrared waves to encourage blood circulation in the feet. One thing is for sure is they won't feel hot necessarily when you touch them after turning them on. And this was slightly confusing at first and I was worried whether they would be warm enough taking them outside but having ridden them in very, very low temperatures, I can confirm that they absolutely work very well. Using this remote, you can swap between the heat settings and you can also turn the insoles on and off, which is very useful and saves you having to take the whole insole out of the pair of shoes whilst out 
in the cold. So what about price? So obviously they're going to be ex more expensive than your average insole at £115. These are certainly a bit of an investment, but they come with a two year warranty. And if you do struggle with cold feet whilst out and about on your bike rides, then these could be a game changer. Personally, I have to say that I absolutely love the idea. I think they've made a really, really good product. Well, that wraps up the review of these Vulcan heated insoles. And just something to note was I absolutely did not get paid anything. These were just gifted to me. I just wanted to show you a new product that I thought was really, really cool. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you did enjoy it, please make sure you go down below and subscribe because looking on my YouTube studio, I can see 48% of you are not subscribed. So it would really make my day if you did that. And as usual, guys, catch you on the next one. Ciao.